I'm driving the new Nissan Almera. No, don't switch off. I know the old one was about as visually attractive as Nora Batty on a bad night, but this one is impressively different. You actually get looked at in this one for the right reasons. And that's because it's been designed by British designers just the way we want it, not by Japanese guys who don't know what we want. The Almera is built at Nissan Sunderland factory, the most efficient in Europe, and a long-term future of 5,000 jobs are dependent on it being a big sales hit. As far as I'm concerned, the new Nissan's in good hands because the car I drove was top-notch for quality. Well done, the boys from Sunderland. Take the interior. It's a giant leap forward from the old acres of grey plastic. This one has got everything in the right place and it looks quite reasonable. Inside, it's one of the most comfortable and roomy interiors and it's more than a match for any of its rivals. It's also full of clever storage space with no fewer than 20 clever little cubby holes geared for real families. They include a takeaway curry bag hook, a rubbish bin in the rear, and a retractable strap to stop your briefcase bouncing around in the rear. And there's a decent sized boot with a handy stowage net. It's a bold new look Almera that features a sporty new nose with twin headlights, a flying wing grille, and also a very distinctive surfboard style curving roof line. And it happens to have a rear end with a very un Nissan like curves. The old car never really had any problems as far as driving and handling was concerned. It was a very competent performer. And initial impressions of the new one is that they've gone on a step and improved it. And that's good news. In three door form, the Nissan actually looks rather uh, sporty. And when you get it on the road, it doesn't disappoint. It's got very, very good handling. It's very reassured. And it's actually great fun to drive. Nissan are going to be offering uh, three different engines, a new 1.5, the excellent new 1.8 that I'm driving, and the 2.2 diesel. Not available for test drive yet, but I have a feeling that the 1.5 is going to be the bargain in the pack. If the engine's as good as Nissan claim, and with a price tag expected to be 10999, you're going to get an awful lot of car for the money. What's impressed me about the Almera is its sophistication. It's a very refined car, very comfortable car. It's also amazingly quiet, especially at motorway speeds. It's a lot quieter than cars you'll pay a lot more money for. So, is the new Almera the car that can kickstart Nissan's revival under Renault? In my view, the answer is a definite yes, because this is a very impressive car. Compared to the old one, it's a swan to the ugly ducklings. Whether or not it's got the image to compete with the VW Golf and the Focus at the top of the pile, that's questionable. What I am confident about is it will sell. And that's good news, because Nissan and Renault definitely need the Japanese car maker to start to sell in big numbers.